Hi guys, my name is Diana and welcome to the July episode of NO Games TV. It's finally summer, so let's not waste time and go right to the overview. We start the show off with Forge of Empires introducing to us the summer event. Then we move over to Elvenar with their event, March of the Herds. Last but not least, Travel Wars the West and Grappolis have a special announcement for you. Let's start the show off with T and Kai from Forge of Empires and the return of the Summer Casino. Ah, hello T. Wait, where are we? <gasps> Is this the Maharaja's palace? What the forge, T? I wanted that building from the Summer Wheel. You snooze, you lose. The Summer Casino is open again and this time the Maharaja and his wife, the Maharani, are running it. Do their quest to win summer tickets that you can use to spin the Wheel of Fortune. But be quick because your neighbors are spinning the same wheel and might win the most precious prizes before you do. If there's nothing on the wheel that piques your interest, you can also get a shot at a completely new wheel by refreshing it. On the wheel you will find golden, silver, and green rewards. There will always be one to two golden rewards on the wheel and they are very valuable. They can only be won once, so be quick when you see a golden reward that you want. Silver rewards appear more often, and each silver reward can be won twice. The green rewards are the most common, and each green reward has four copies that can be won. Among the prizes, you will find 10 new Indian-themed buildings that the Maharaja and his wife brought from their home country. They form two sets. There's the Indian Palace set, consisting of the Maharaja's palace, two palace towers, and some garden pieces. If you collect all pieces and build them next to each other, the Maharaja's palace will become very powerful and produce all sorts of resources. Some of the buildings from the Indian palace set can be also won in the two quest lines of the event, so keep your eyes peeled. The second set is the Indian fountain, consisting of the elephant fountain building, its entrance gate, a giant flower and some chhatri buildings. The elephant fountain gives you a multitude of different boosts, so make sure you collect all Indian fountain buildings. So that's it guys! We hope you are looking forward to summer as much as we are. Enjoy spinning the wheel and tell us what you think in the comments. Bye! Do you like animals? Well then you're in luck, because Elvenor has a new event all about them, the March of the Herds. Let's go to Timon and Rika who tells us more about that. Hello Elvenor players, this is Timon and Rika from the Elvenor team. Just when you thought summer would never arrive in Hamburg, it happened. At least in Elvenor. Why do you complain about summer in Hamburg? It is, as everyone knows, the best day of the year. Well, in Elvena the summer will last at least a few weeks. Our summer event will start soon and this year it's called the March of the Herds. A friendly shepherd of the Wood Elves will guide you through the new questline, which tells a story about, hmm, guess what, shepherds. You will see shepherds from dwarves, from the halflings and fairies, well, even from the orcs. And even better, you will see some cute and mysterious animals like sheep which look like caterpillars, two-tailed shepherd dogs, beastly buffaloes and stubborn goats. You might even see halflings riding on chicken. We also improved our quest system so we could add some new quest conditions. This brings more variety and fairness to the game no matter how far your city has progressed. For instance, we have now quests that ask you to donate some resources. I actually like this kind of quest because in many cases I can finish it instantly. And that is quite comfortable, even though it's also sometimes expensive. Yeah, but think about the glorious rewards you will get this time. It's worth every quest condition. Besides having all the different animals and races and brand new buildings, some of the buildings also have new effects. True, there are some really, really powerful buildings to win this time. The flip side of the coin is that once you build them, they will only last for a limited time. So, use their effects while they last. Well, summer in Hamburg is actually not that bad. You just don't know when it will happen. Our summer event, however, has a very precise weather forecast. The sun will start shining in Elvena on July the 6th and last until August 3rd. As always, let us know what you think about the new event right here in the comment section or better yet, in the forums. And until next time, keep on playing! Since we're turning 10 this year, some of our games are releasing classic servers. Let's go to three special guests who will explain to us more about it. Hey guys, my name is Thorsten and I'm the product manager of The West and with me are Steffi from Grappolis and Andreas from Tribal Wars. To celebrate the 10 year anniversary of InnoGames, we have something special to announce. The start of our classic servers. 
So from July 3rd to July 31st, you will be able to play a classic version of your favorite game. Driver Wars fans can play a very special version of our international market. This means current graphics, a modern user interface and all usability features but classic settings. This includes a faster world speed, but modern gameplay features like the Paladin, Archers, the Church, Militias and the Watchtower are disabled. Furthermore, the world uses our classic 10 levels research system and nobles are recruited by using the packages system instead of coins. For Grappolis, we're going to bring you another blast from the past. For the anniversary celebrations, we bring back version 1.26, the very last version before we updated all game worlds to Grappolis 2.0 in 2011. Long before the fight for World Wonders was introduced in Grappolis, your main goal was to show your dominance against other players and alliances. In this classic version, you take on your enemies with the powers of just four gods. Hades and Artemis are unfortunately going to miss the celebrations. The classic farming village system will provide another challenge as they have to be attacked frequently to increase their strength, leading to more lootable resources. Without current in-game events, heroes or the Finnish and Trader, it's up to you and your alliance alone to show everybody else who's boss. With the West, we are going back the furthest. You will be able to play the original state as it was on the release day of our English version that was the 21st of September 2008. You will travel back in time where dueling took place in the town saloons, where there is no classes, no forts, no adventures. You will see the old map and the old user interface and of course the cowboys and cowgirls will go pantless and wear no belts. Oh, and one more thing, if you're able to reach the top three of any of our servers, you will be rewarded with in-game currency. So, we all wish you a lot of fun and best of luck. Bye! So that was it for the July episode of InnoGames TV. If you liked this episode, make sure to subscribe to YouTube channel and like us on Facebook and Twitter. We'll make sure to bring you the latest news and all our games. Bye!